Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. We're here at the Miami International Auto Show for 2021. And of course, walking around the show floor, I had to stop at the Mopar area because as many of you know, Mopar or no car, and this is definitely one of those hot Mopars. This is a 2022 Dodge Challenger SRT Super Stock. But before we get into this muscle injected muscle car, let's talk about what's going on here. The Challenger. As we've talked about many a time, it's been around since 1970. During the peak of the original muscle car era, well, guess what? Here in the 21st century, things, they are a changing. And what I mean by that is we are going towards electrification. Now, there's many brands going towards full EV. We've heard from the president of Dodge saying, listen, we can't keep building these V8s any longer really because of the strict emissions regulations and fuel economy and everything else. So they're saying that hybrid is gonna be the next step for the redesign challenger. So my question is, with this super stock, taking a lot of the magic of the mighty demon, and we have featured the demon here on Ready's Rise, I'll leave the, that review at the end of this one, taking features from the demon, is this the time now to buy a super stock before they're all gone? You got more horsepower on pump cast than the Demon, believe it or not, and you're gonna get some of the Demon goodies technology-wise. So let's go ahead, let's dive into our granite colored super stock and find out, is it time now to buy one before they go bye-bye? Let's go ahead and dive in right off the bat nothing screams more muscle car than a challenger even comparing it to the gt500 because if you're looking at the two horsepower top dogs the gt500 and this guy right here are the two top dogs now when we start at the front end of the business what we're going to get is that quad headlight design i love the way you got the led trim rings really gives it that nice menacing look we have the functional air intakes where they hollow out that interior this is stuff that they learned on the original Challenger and obviously continued it with the Hellcat into the Hellcat Red Eye, into the Demon, and definitely into the Super Stock. Love this granite color. You'll notice down below we have full functionality on the corner vents and all the way across the front. That massive front splitter, gonna try to stop air from going underneath. And of course, this being a brand new one, it's okay to have the yellow protective guard, but if you buy this particular one, please take it off. It's not supposed to be there. It actually disrupts airflow, believe it or not. And with this vehicle going down the quarter mile, you're living your life a quarter mile at a time, you're not gonna be, wanna be living your life with a plastic protector wrapped around you or on the front of this car. Same upper grille design. I really, really like the way it's super clean with the SRT badge. So when we see SRT, we're talking about street and racing technology team with that Hellcat logo. And one of the things that Dodge really wanted to do with this super stock is almost make it look stock, like a regular red eye or a regular Hellcat wide body. And I think that's probably one of the things that sometimes I wish they didn't do is make it available to have the wide body on all the different trims. I wish they would have kept it maybe for the red eye and just the super stock to really differentiate that. But the, men the most menacing look, more menacing than a GT500. You got the massive coolers. We got all of that area that's gonna flow the air. Now, when we get up onto the hood, what are you going on the super stock? You're getting the twin snorkel hood. The Demon, remember, had that single air grabber hood, but I still love the shape of the twin air inlet set up on here. Both functional, of course. You got the nice bulge that you want from your muscle car. You actually have two bulges. My thing is, I wish they would have designed a hood specific to the Super Stock. That would have separated from the rest of the pack, but like I said, they wanted it to look like a stock Hellcat. Now, as we come around the side, you can see that extra three inches. Everybody wants an extra three inches. Guess what? The Super Stock has the three inches from the factory, and you can see that massive fender flare going all the way around. That granite color sparkles like a diamond especially out in the Florida sun. And what are we working with? Wheel and tire setup. So you're actually getting some of that demonness in this vehicle. And yes, I just made up a word, demonness. Look it up in the Radies Rise Dictionary. What do we have? We have these Forge five-star wheels. Now, if you're wondering, well, Joe, what's the size of these wheels? Are they 20 inch? 
No, they're actually 18 inch. And if you're saying, well, Joe, doesn't the Hellcat come with 20 inch wheels? The reason why they went with 18 inch is that they're lighter, plus that gives you more available rubber to put on these wheels specifically for the drag strip. And guess what? Talking about the drag strip, these have those Nitto tires, the NT tires, 05Rs, that are going to grip the asphalt. All four corners, you're looking at maximum width with this setup. 315 all four corners. I love the gunmetal gray wheel, the four piston Brembo calipers, and fully ventilated rotors. Underneath the sheet metal, you're going to get the special tune from the Demon Bilstein dampers. That what they do is when you line up at to the, up to the Christmas tree and you go to launch, it actually softens the rear suspension, stiffens the front end to allow that squat to happen to give you perfect traction as you rock it down the quarter mile. This makes this a drag strip car. Compared to the GT500, faster zero to 60, faster quarter mile time. We're gonna cruise around to the other side to really showcase this vehicle here, but love all of the shape, that size, I know many people are saying, well, Joe, the chassis has been around since the early 2000s. When are they going to redesign this? Watch what you wish for because the redesign is coming. But like I said, underneath the hood, things are going to be a lot different. Coming around the bend, looking at that fender flare. And then, of course, we got to show the badging. Now, this being on top of the red eye platform, you're going to get that nice dark chrome finish of the Hellcat logo with the red eye. Wouldn't that be wild if that actually lit up? when you got on throttle and it spit flames out. That's what I'm talking about. That would be pretty killer, but looking great. This color, I have not actually seen this color. And that's why we're doing this car is that super stocks, we've done the mango, but these super stocks are so hard to come by. I had to bring it to you while it was sitting here because I want to roll out of here. I'm trying to look for the biggest doors to just fire this beast up and take it home back to Clearwater with me. We'll see how that turns out. There may be a special Radies Rides police chase. But anyways, classic style on the mirror caps, just like before, everything cruising to the rear. Now with this particular super stock, you don't get a demon box, so you don't get the snap-on tools. You don't get the skinnies up front. That's gonna be some of the things that are different. But the great news is because they're all the same size, you could literally just, when you burn up the rears, take the fronts and put them on the rears and swap them front to back at the drag strip. Coming towards the rear, love the classic style of that fuel door. Nice satin black finish. Mopar does it right. It really, they really do. And look at this, just the 315s in the back, those special drag radials. Absolutely a car that people are gonna remember. And this is gonna be one of those vehicles that, like I said, buy it now or never because you might regret it. 10 years from now, when these cars are not available, you're gonna be like, man, you'll be telling your kids, I had the opportunity to buy one and I passed on it. Get it now. You'll have better stories to tell your kids. I promise you that. Coming towards the rear, this wing is the drag specific wing. It's not that standard one that you see on the Hellcat or the Hellcat Red Eye. Love the way it's nice and low, channeling the air to give you that fast quarter mile time. We got the Dodge badge looking great in the center. And then working our way towards the rear, the one thing, the one thing, that I, I'm getting emotional. The one thing that I wanted Dodge to do for this car or the Demon is give me a different exhaust outlet, some quad tips instead of the vacuum cleaner style. But you know what? They do fit really flush and nice and clean, but some quad tips would have just, I think, set it apart and a, sit, and a nice diffuser, a rear diffuser here to channel that air coming underneath the vehicle. That would have been killer, but you know what's even more killer? Let's pop the hood and look at that fire-breathing supercharged V8. All right, guys, the next generation of this Challenger, it's not gonna look like this underneath the hood. We got the hood popped. You do have hydraulic hood struts, nice to see, but this is really the big talking point. That is it, that is the iconic 6.2 liter supercharged Hemi V8. I love that metallic silver finish. This is what you wanna see as a car person when you pop the hood. But what are we looking at? So you got the larger supercharger from the Demon, okay? So that means you're gonna be able to flow more air, churn more air. That means we have 807 horsepower on pump fuel. 
You don't have to run the special ECU. You don't have to go get race fuel. Pump gas, 707 pound-feet of torque. It is mated to a torque flight, eight-speed automatic transmission like before. When it comes to the technology, remember you have the availability to use that AC to cool everything down after each run. That is technology taken from the Demon. But what else are we looking at? Zero to 60, if you hook it up right, if you know what you're doing, zero to 60 about three seconds. When we're talking about quarter mile times, this is when things get really crazy. Quarter mile at 10.4 seconds, 131 miles per hour. And remember, this is a vehicle that is street legal, that comes from the factory with a full warranty. Now, if we're comparing this to the GT500, in a straight line, this is what this vehicle is all made for. The GT500 could do a little bit of both. It could do a straight line quarter mile. It could also be a road course corner carver. This not much so because it does, excuse me, it does weigh around 4,200 pounds, which makes it a little on the heavier side compared to the competition, but definitely coming from the factory with that special drag race technology, is what it's all about. But while we go ahead, let's get to the interior and see what it's like in a Superstar. All right, guys, we're inside this Mopar Muscle 2022 SRT Superstock. I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, I've been watching your Challenger reviews. I know the final days are coming for this V8 Magic, especially 807 horsepower from the factory with a good old Hemi V8. How much is this thing? I'm, you got me excited. I want to buy it. How much is it? So MSRP, the way that this one is optioned is $91,000. Now, before we go any further, let me tell you, they took the keys away from me. They heard me saying that I was going to drive this off the showroom floor. So unfortunately, we can't fire it up because we are at the auto show and they don't have the battery connected and there's no power inverter. But you know what? Being a muscle car lover, I know you're a muscle car lover. I had to bring it to you anyways because this is one hell of a street beast. But let's go ahead, see what you get for the money to the door panels. This one has the premium option interior. So you're going to get that nice smooth touch material, almost like a leather style with the white contrast stitching both at the top and also as you drop down on that super soft armrest. Another thing that's interesting is on the back portion of the door panel, you do have a Twinkie holder, two Twinkies. That's for your passenger to give that to the GT500 that you smoke at the track. And then you also have a cup holder because you're from Indiana and at the Indianapolis Speedway, they give milk to the winner. You'll have your bottle of fresh squeezed milk from an Indiana cow sitting right in that cup holder. Going from the door panel to the dash, that smooth premium touch finish, I do prefer that over the standard interior. You have a SRT badge. I wish they would have gone super stock on the badge. So I am gonna have to zonk that. Everything else is gonna be laid out exactly the same. And like I said, I apologize that we can't turn anything on, but you have your 8.4 inch Uconnect system. I love this machined aluminum uh, feature in here. Really gives it that classic muscle car look. The bright red star stop button. We got the torque flight, eight speed automatic. That's gonna help us launch down the drag strip. Two cup holders, of course. And then you're gonna get premium material on the armrest and then the seats. Soft as can be. These aren't seats for a road course, but for a drag strip, very, very nice. That leather, the SRT with the Hellcat logo. Rawr! Do you hear that thing? It screams. It might scream actually louder than this super stock but perforated all the way down, nice bolstering. These seats are manual on the passenger, electric for the driver, but they are heated and ventilated. And the nice thing is you get the largest rear seats in the muscle car industry. So larger than the GT500, larger than the Camaro. So you could actually take four people, including yourself obviously, but take three other people with you down your crazy adventures of driving a legend. But why don't you get your legendary rear end over here? I wanna show you behind the wheel of this super All right, guys, here we are behind the wheel, the business end. If you are like Vin Diesel and live your life a quarter mile at a time, this is gonna be that setup for Dom Toretto, especially if you owe him that 10 second car because 
this is a 10 second car. Now, like I said before, we can't move anything around because there's a lot of electric assist on the driver's side. You do have your electric assist for the lower portion, which is nice. The back though is manual and I am gonna have to zonk that. It should be full electric in a $91,000 car. Another thing that I wish they would have done is gave me a specific steering wheel for the super stock. It looks just like any other steering wheel out of a Challenger. Yes, you get the SRT logo, that's great and everything, but this chrome trim needs to go. That's just plastic, man. Give me something different, but I do like the leather, especially the perforated on the sides. You do have the large paddles on the back of the steering wheel to go up and down, that Torque Flight 8-speed automatic, and you have that classic gauge setup, and on the Super Stock, you're getting the bright red analog gauges for speedometer and tachometer. Now. Of course, you want to go on throttle with me? Hell, I want to go on throttle with myself, but we're going to have to wait for Dodge to send us one of these as a press fleet vehicle or just go ahead and send me one for free. But until that day happens, we need to move on to the next one here at the Miami Auto Show. So let's go ahead and wrap this one up. All right, guys, it's been a muscle car kind of day here at the Miami Auto Show. Definitely want to thank Kimberly, Chris, and the rest of the Dodge, Ram, Jeep, crew that's here with the whole Mopar setup for bringing this super stock out. Like I said, these cars are very hard to come by. They're going to make as many as people want, but it looks like those numbers are going to be super low, actually lower than the Dodge Demon when all things come to an end. But should you go and get one of these super stocks and have a legend, do you want to go get a GT500? Let me know what you think in the comment section. Put it in there but if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out hit that subscribe button i promise you it's worthwhile come back for more if you are a subscriber thank you for being part of the radius rights family if you want to help us keep making great content just for you on the channel click the link in the description get yourself some radius rise merch got to give it up to the muscle behind the camera lori working it like a champ thank you for all that you do lori and just like always guys i'll see you on the next ride